Hello everybody, welcome to the video. It's a bit of an interesting one here for you. Uh, for starters, it's not going to be your typical thing, obviously, because I'm actually starting here over on YouTube. As my lovely friend and Discord user, at Hossein, uh, had so kindly did a uh, playthrough of one of my BTD maps, uh, and he kindly allowed me to review it as well as, um, uh, you know, just demonstrate my own map for you guys. Um, initially I was not gonna, you know, do a walkthrough on how I play the game, because I'm nowhere near perfect, as you will soon see. Uh, but not only that, but, uh, he's got a lot more knowledge of the game than I do. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just starting Good. off. This is for you. Uh, yeah, obviously right. just, you know, so that it's for me. We're starting. Obviously it's on my map that I Let made. Nothing too Let special. Obviously he starts off with, uh, Etienne. Uh, I believe that's the name of the person, or the hero. Um, I'm actually gonna try not to do any heroes, and actually I beat my own maps without doing so heroes, or map, using any, so I'm not going I to be said, using any. A long time ago, like, I think an hour uh, ago. And obviously I'm not gonna watch the to entire video here. The um, that, right? I just saw I'm not gonna watch the entirety of the video, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip around just to see how you did. Uh, by around 35 or 36, you've got a pretty decent defense. Uh, it seems like you're really using uh, the drones and uh, all the available uh, assets that you can in terms of uh, getting rid of that camo, which is probably a good idea. I did not actually know that uh, this hero of yours that you've selected actually oh, gives um, so every to tower camo protection or detection, excuse me. But what is interesting to me is that you opted to go for three tax shooters and a village rather than upgrading your um, buccaneer. And here you even sold your farm instead of upgrading your buccaneer to get the um, to get the, uh, that one ability that allows you to just insta-kill Moabs and stuff. Personally, I would have got, gone and do that instead of the tax shooters. Um, and you also got a dart monkey in the bottom left there as a cleanup, as well as a wizard. Which, in all, all in all, is pretty smart. But then you go for a primary mentoring, and I guess it's which is fair because you do have those tax shooters there. But then I don't believe that you upgrade it for anything else until later on, which is kind of a bummer. Because you could have upgraded it uh, to a 402, which would have given you some discounts. And then you even go for an ice <coughs> tower and a boomerang even before still upgrading the Buccaneer. Like, what? What are you doing, man? <laughs> now, obviously, I skipped ahead to round uh, 59 or 60. But what are you doing, man? I guess... What are you doing? <laughs> I would have definitely done that Buccaneer. Um, obviously, we both have two different play styles, and you're going to see that shortly here. Um... Nice lag, by the way. That was great. That wasn't me, that was all you. I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead a little bit further. You've got only two farms, which actually you can get uh, up to four uh, on this map. Maybe five, actually. Um, because believe it or not, even though there's a lot of uh, stones over here, there's not a lot of space to actually put anything. A lot of forest, obviously, which makes the map harder, but not too bad. Oh, and then you put a spike tower in the bottom left as well to help clean up. Which is interesting. 
which is very interesting. Now, you did a very good job at uh, defense. Eco, honestly, could be a little bit better. <laughs> at least for your setup, because then you sell your wizard for a super monkey. And why in that position? Why did you put it there? I would have honestly sold um, the ninja or uh, the druid or whatever you have up and like up towards the top, because then you could have put a technological terror for round eighty. I'm so confused. <laughs> but hey, man, I really appreciate you. Uh, let's go ahead and watch uh, round eighty here. It's a it's a very short map. I definitely thought it out. Um, not actually. I just wanted something that kind of looked good. Um, to also um, to also demonstrate, or at least to go over it a little bit later. Um, the reason why the river looks the way it is is because I actually used two different um, palettes there. Also, congratulations, Hossein, on beating the map. It's probably gonna go into free play, which is awesome. But I don't really care about free play. I don't pay. I don't play past free play because honestly, 80 rounds is good enough for me. <laughs> uh, and with that being said, here we are on to BTD, the actual path itself, Serenity Path. Um, <clears throat> it is meant to be hard. It's not, well, it's not meant to be hard, but it can be hard if you don't know what you're doing. Which is me. Half the time I do my stuff. <laughs> uh, I kind of don't really think about the pathway. I kind of just do it and then make the map itself. Uh, I have an idea, and then I put the idea into the map maker, and then I, I kind of do the path last. Yeah, I do the path last. I make the maps first. And then I make the path last. Um, but the reason why uh, this shoreline looks the way it does is because I wanted to make a shallower riverbed. So like, uh, here would be a deeper river, obviously, as you can see, it cuts through. Um, and you have a shorter shoreline here with the sand. But down here, I wanted it to be more like rocky and deeper. So now it has like a shelf. You know how like oceans have shelves? I kind of made this riverbed have a shelf and that's pretty much what that is. It's like a shallower version and then the deeper side, which actually I also goofed because I wanted to make it so that you cannot put a uh, river or water-based um, monkeys on this ledge here but you can. <laughs> I was not meaning to do that, actually, at all, but you can, and you know what? I think it's fine the way it is. That's just, you know, me being the map maker. Uh, oops, I forgot that. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, you can actually put stuff up here, um, which is good. I think you can still put, like, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and still use the same uh, towers and stuff, or not same towers and stuff, but uh, same hero and stuff. Obviously we, I don't use heroes, so I'm gonna do it without, and uh, we're gonna see how well that goes. I'm gonna use a free dark monkey, put him there, and then I'm actually gonna put a druid right here. Um, right here. There. Uh, the reason why is because whenever the druid shoots out his, uh, thing, his thorns, they go in, like, a cone, and the cone actually goes further between these two trees and can actually help the dark monkey pop stuff. So, that is, uh, quite nice. I'm also gonna set the free dark monkey on strong. Uh, so he targets the blue balloons. Uh, this druid is basically gonna be here for cleanup. And I'm only gonna try 
So aside from also not using a whole bunch of, uh, or the hero or whatever, uh, I'm also gonna try to use like just this half of this of the uh, track. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, as for right now, I can't really promise anything. <laughs> I can be good and I cannot be good, you know? There's, uh, there's no middle ground here. Now obviously, uh, using uh, Etienne uh, for, or Etienne, Etienne, I, I don't remember how to pronounce the name, but either way, uh, would be fantastic uh, at using for camo detection. Uh, majority of the time, I don't use um, I don't actually use a lot of other towers besides magic ones. Um, magic and military, uh, usually the way that I play this game. So it will be interesting for sure. Um, the other thing that I saw from your video, Hossein, is that round 25 like round 25 to 30 you had uh one uh banana village or um banana farm excuse me which is very interesting to me because you can farm a lot earlier depending on what your setup is um i'm probably not going to do that at the moment but it was just interesting to see. But, um, so what's gonna happen here is I'm going to set up for probably a, an alchemist split between the ninja and the cleanup druid. I just try the best I can. Now, as you know, I do not have any camo to, or uh, lead popping power. So what actually I'm going to be doing is uh, not going to be using any farms, not yet at least, and uh, just going to work on getting a solid defense. I would say I'm probably going to finish. Mm. Maybe? Because I don't really care about lives either. I could probably just go ahead and farm anyway. So initially what my strategies would be is to actually do a double druid right here instead of a ninja. And then have the... Uh, have one druid be a thorns and then have the other druid be the storm. The storm uh, or the lightning ball druid or tornado one wh whatever it's called I don't remember <laughs> exactly or off the top of my mind right now but yeah I'm gonna go for a good old Moab Muller And then hopefully that'll be able to stop me, Moab. I had a way better setup in my testing, dude. And I totally don't remember at all of how I did it. It would probably have been better if I did a second farm there, but oh well, I guess. I'm not worried. I should have been worried. <laughs> Honestly, oh dude, you know what? If I would have done the storm druid right there, I probably would have been better because they it could have blown the stuff or the the popped Moab uh, 
a little bit better. And then I wouldn't have to de deal with that. I think that's what I should have done in the first place, but I just didn't think of it. So I'm going to do the exact same setup pretty much. Um, the only difference I'm probably going to make is that instead of um, instead of doing the 402 I'm just gonna go with a um, probably a 032 although the bottom path can crit I should probably go bottom path actually Probably bottom path would be better, because it mo uh, just like the um, just like the catapult, I can probably just yeah the crossbow is probably better because the crossbow goes through balloons as well. Meanwhile, in Druid's end, I'm probably just gonna chillax. I am, in fact, going to get up uh, the Tornado Druid back here. I think what else would help is a um, instead of the, another ninja, well, I need camo protection or camo detection. I'll keep the ninja here, um, but I think what I'm going to do instead of a 402, I might go with the. I might go with the 42. I might go with the 42, honestly. Bottom path. Zero two four. Probably. Uh, I'm gonna get enough to get the heart of thunder for the druid, and then I actually I'm going to farm. It's probably gonna be the better option. Yeah, I'm just gonna get one farm. Get the uh, druid of the storm. And then uh, probably go for uh, some Moab Maulers. Because I don't necessarily need camo lead at the moment. So we're, we should be good there. Oh, and then the elk. I did not think of bloods. Whoops. So what do I do? Still leave leads out of the picture. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. I'm not really concerned with leads, honestly. I'm not really concerned about lives either. I could get another could get another um, farm. I'm probably not going to. Build this probably is not going to work, honestly. But I've got no idea. It's the first time I'm trying it. Tower, a boom tower. Let's get a boom tower. I'll get a Moab first. Then, like a good boom tower, you know?
It takes three Moab Maulers to, uh, to really get some damage done. It's kind of surprising, honestly. I got that right in time, dude. Oh my god, did you see that? <laughs> Alright, now I'll do counter espionage. I'll get another farm here. I probably should really upgrade my um, my druid though. Yeah. Because now we're gonna start getting some uh, some dangerous levels of uh, stuff going on. So actually, I'm gonna do that split that I said earlier with the Alk. So now the ninja's buffed, and our druid is buffed, and I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm just gonna wait it out, honestly. Actually, I'm gonna grab a sharpshooter real quick. Yeah, grab sharpshooter. I'm gonna farm a little bit more. Just a little bit more. <clears throat> as much as I want to go for more farms, I really want to have a boost to my popping power. There we go. I think it's worth it in the uh, long run there. Yeah. So not doing any towers, or uh, not doing any heroes, and uh, not going to be doing any other thing like that. Um, I think, I think this banana farm I might hold off for now. I just not upgrading. All right, looks like we need a little bit more firepower. Uh, so I'm actually gonna slow it down for just a second here. And now I'm gonna put the super monkey up there. You had one as well in your video. Um, but down here, I'm gonna put mine up at the top here. I'm also going to actually sell this banana farm for knockback. And camo. I'm then also going to re-get a druid, but I'm going to make this one uh, thorns. So that can help out, which is good. Um, I'm actually then also going to get a village, but I'm going to get it here. I'm gonna get, yeah, I'm going to get a 204. As ridiculous as that is, actually. Because then you're probably gonna be like, oh wait, there's no camo detection for like any of the towers. There is because it's not well the top ones here aren't for uh, that anyway I'm gonna get a dark knight and then once I am able to I'm gonna grab the jungle's bounty for this druid Fantastic. 
So now we got more thorns. A lot more thorns, actually. And then I'm gonna grab Sticky Bomb. Actually, while I'm up here, I am going to get a Merchant Man as well. And then I'm going to also grab um, let me see I'm going to make you camo detection as well because you don't have it 3k we're going to grab your ability right away And then, because of the merchantmen, actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and just get more merchantmen. Because why not? I have the water, might as well, right? If I can't farm as much, I can always use them to my advantage. And then this, um, this guy I'm actually going to sell, and then I'm going to replace the farm that I had up here. We're going to turn that into a bank. I'm going to prob... actually, I'm going to make these favored trades, which is fantastic. So not only do I get increased popping power, but also more money. Because who doesn't like money? Yep, third merchant man. Or fourth one, actually I should say. Um, and then I'm actually going to sell one of my uh, farms to get monkey village or monkey town so now I get even more money per pop which is fantastic uh, I'm gonna use that to get the MF loan or IMF loan I don't remember what it does exactly then I'm gonna rebuy the farm might as well and turn that one into a bank I'm going to sell... Actually, I'm not going to sell anything right now. I will get another druid if I can. And we're also going to make him into jungle's bounty. Oh! There goes all, <laughs> all the camo stuff. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that one. 78. Whoops. Eh, I'm just gonna go ahead. Screw it. Um, mum, 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 mum. What am I gonna do for a camo, huh? What am I gonna do for camo? Actually, I know what I can do for camo. Probably two dark knights, and we should be able to. That should be able to be fine, right? I'll get monkeyopolis. We'll put another super monkey down. Why not? We'll probably make this one a uh, tech. Technological terror. If I remembered what round I was on, I probably would have done this conversion already. But I totally didn't notice at all. Because look at that, dude. Look at that. Bada bing, bada bam. It's already done. Look at that. And I can. I would have been fine to sell all my stuff. Because. 
I have the merchantmen already doing massive amounts of damage. Not only that, but here's round 80, and then all of a sudden, bam, and we're done. <laughs> it was literally round 78. If I had just paid attention to the rounds, I probably would have been fine and I didn't have to use <laughs> monkey money, but it, I just, oh uh, man. Again, I said I'm nowhere near perfect, but it happens, man. It happens. <laughs> uh, yep, that is Serenity Path. If anybody wants to uh, check out any of the other stuff that I've made, it is right here on screen right now. Um, I make some maps for fun because it's fun. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, if anybody else wants to see any others, you know, let me know in the comments. And uh, other than that, rookie mistake is what it is. <laughs>